Sardar Ajit Singh, the 23rd of February 1881 to the 15th of August 1947, was a revolutionary, an Indian dissident, and a nationalist during the time of British rule in India. With compatriots, he organized agitation by Punjabi peasants against anti-farmer laws known as the Punjab Colonization Act Amendment 1906 and administrative orders increasing water rate charges. He was an early protester in the Punjab region of India who challenged British rule, and openly criticised the Indian colonial government. In May 1907, with Lala Lajpat Rai, he was exiled to Mandalay in Burma. Due to great public pressure and apprehension of unrest in the Indian army, the bills of exile were withdrawn and both men were released in November 1907. With his brothers Kashan Singh and Swaran Singh, and Sufi Amba Parshad, he continued publishing political literature about how the British government of India was planning to arrest them and put them in prison long term. Along with Sufi Amba Parshad, he escaped to Iran in 1909, remaining in exile for 38 years. He returned to India in March 1947, breathing his last on the morning of 15 August 1947 at Dalhousie, Punjab, the very day India was declared independent of British rule. Sardar Ajit Singh was the uncle of Sardar Bhagat Singh. <laughs> Early life Sardar Ajit Singh Sandhu was born into a patriotic family from Punjab in India. He was born on 23 February 1881 at Kotkar Kalan village in Jalandhar district now in Shahid Bhagat Singh district. He studied up to matric at Sainda's Anglo-Sanskrit school Jalandhar, and later joined Law College, Bareilly up. During this period he became intensely involved in the Indian freedom movement and left his law studies. Topic. Dissident activities Sardar Ajit Singh was the hero of Pagdi Sambal Jada movement. The Pagdi Sambal Jada movement had spread far beyond the peasants to engulf the army. In 1907, he was deported to Mandalay Jail in Burma along with Lala Lajpat Rai. After his release, he fled to Iran, rapidly developed as a center for revolutionary activities by groups led by Sardar Ajit Singh and Sufi Amba Prasad who had worked there since 1909. The recruits to these groups included young nationalists of the likes of Rishikesh Letha, Zia ul Haq, Thakur Das Duri. By 1910, the activities of these groups and their publication, The Hayat, had been noticed by the British intelligence. Reports as early as 1910 indicated German efforts to unite Turkey and Persia and proceed to Afghanistan to threaten British India. However, Ajit Singh's departure in 1911 brought the Indian revolutionary activities to a grinding halt, while British representations to Persia successfully curbed whatever activity that remained in the country. From there, he travelled to Rome, Geneva, Paris, and Rio de Janeiro. In 1918, he came in close contact with the Ghadar Party in San Francisco. In 1939, he returned to Europe and later on helped Nataji Subhas Chandra Bose in his mission in Italy. In 1946, he came back to India at the invitation of Pandit Jawahar Lal Nehru. After spending some time in Delhi, he went to Dalhousie. On 15 August 1947 he uttered his last breath, on this date India got its independence. His last words were, Thank God, my mission is fulfilled. A samadhi in his memory is at Panchpula, a popular and scenic picnic spot in Dalhousie. <laughs> <laughs> 